Hello everybody. Normally I would be doing a video showing something that I have or that I want to talk about. Um, a review, but today I actually need some help with something because um, basically what happened is um, the store that I was, I was a manager at a store, a big company, for the past six years and they ended up closing. Um, I'm not going to say what store, but, you know, they're closing a lot of stores. But, um, basically, down to the final days, they were just uh, throwing stuff out. And uh, the, the old computers, we have newer ones in the store, but the older ones, they basically said, you know, throw them away or let somebody take them. Because they didn't want them back. So, I was able to uh, get my hands on these two. Um, one of them is the Dell Optiplex GX520, which is this one, and the other one is the Optiplex 760. Um, this one, the, the 520, it's, it's okay, it's very low end, it's, it's much older, it's, I think it's like around 2002. Um, you know, it's got maybe like one gig of RAM, um, but this one actually, the uh, 760, has four gigs of RAM and a good size hard drive um, but anyway that's not the issue um, I was hoping I could you know get them home and do a review on them but here's the problem I can't boot them up I don't know what's wrong and let me just show you um, they start up fine and but the problem is this they always come up with no boot device error and if I were to uh, do a control alt delete just to show you um, it starts out as if it's going to work you know you get to this and then that's what happens no boot device um, and you know, I went through all the troubleshooting. Um, let's see. The one nice thing about Dell is they do have the built-in um, setup tool, which is basically like a nice version of your BIOS. Um, the boot sequence is correct. As you can see, Samsung on um, the hard drive is the first boot device, and then there's the floppy drive, blah, 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 which I have that unhooked, but... Um, and then in here it shows that it is there it shows the hard drive is there and functional but I just don't understand what's wrong because I cannot get it to boot and the thing is both of them do the exact same thing I, I get the same error on both computers so first thing I thought was maybe they the hard drives just don't work but we used these in the store just a couple days ago so I know that they work and in fact they work very well so then I thought well maybe the company came in before and wiped out the hard drives and did something to make them not work that I just can't figure out well that's possible I'm sure that they probably did wipe it for security because it had a lot of proprietary uh, stuff on it but one of my friends they took one of these home and theirs worked fine they actually booted up right away and they installed Windows 7 so theirs works fine but this one these two I cannot get to boot up um, just to give you an idea of what I've tried so far you know I've done the uh, let's see I've done all the diagnostics that are built in which let's see I'll show you you can do a diagnostics test um, F5 and it'll do an onboard diagnostics and it runs all the tests everything's fine it shows that the hard drive is there and running and um, this is the floppy drive. I took it out just so I could get back into here. I unhooked everything and plugged it all back in to make sure that there weren't any loose cables. 
Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it says, you know, the hard drive um, behind that window there is running, and it passes, once that, it says that it passes test. So it knows the hard drive is there, it just won't let it boot up. Um, I took out the battery, and let everything kind of reset. Um, I took out the RAM and put it back in to make sure it was seated properly. Um, I basically have unhooked everything in here and plugged everything back in. And the exact same thing with this computer. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I've done all the things that I can think of. And basically, when I tried to look up how to fix it, everything basically said, well, your hard drive is just bad. Well, I know it isn't because it was just working the other day. And it was, it's just weird that both of these are doing the exact same thing. And the one that my friend took home, which was actually the, uh, the same one as this, the 760, his booted up fine into Windows. And he just upgraded, because this actually has uh, Vista. And then he just upgraded his to um, Windows 7. And he didn't have to do anything. So, if anyone has any suggestions, I'm definitely willing to uh, try whatever I can, because... I don't know what else to do and I definitely don't want to have to buy a hard drive for this because I don't really plan to use it much it was just nice to have a desktop because I, all that I have is a laptop so if anyone has any suggestions I would really appreciate it and uh, I will look forward to hearing what all of you have to say about this thanks for watching and have a great day